Michelle Thomas. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I'm a longtime fan of your father's and the band. Yeah. And now I'm a fan of yours. <laughs> Thank you. Uh. Those of us who watched Family Matters, we know Michelle Thomas, a.k.a. Myra. She was cute and funny. She made me laugh a lot. She just brightened up the screen. It was a breath of fresh air watching her. She was beautiful and talented. And how it ended for her was a sad time for me. She deserved so much more. Michelle Doris Thomas was born on September 23rd, 1968 in Brookline, Massachusetts. Her mother is Penwa Thomas, a stage actress, and her father is Dennis Thomas, a musician. He was the founding member of the band Cool and the Gang. Michelle grew up in the Montclair, New Jersey, and she attended West Essex High School in 1987. When she was a child, she would go with her mother to her theater rehearsals and performances. Her mother was her first acting coach, and she coached her throughout the course of her career. Her mother said she had Michelle as soon as she had her period, and it was the best thing that ever happened to her. She said in those days, she was in every theater in America, and she kept her children with her, especially her trip from Massachusetts to Los Angeles. She said that she didn't know anyone. She was homeless. They slept on the beach. They slept in the car. And people would point at her. And she would say, I have my kids. They're clean. They're fed. What is the problem? She said the kids were well-mannered, well-trained. And they were put out of every theater. The kids would sit in the audience and would say, He's behind you. Run, mommy, run. That's so sweet, trying to protect their mommy. Penwa said, Michelle was such a magnificent child. And she felt so lucky that God picked her to be her mother. A friend of Michelle's mother, who had heard Michelle sing, had requested that she enter Miss Talented Teens. Michelle Thomas was crowned Miss Talented Teen in New Jersey at the State's Hall Jackson's Talented Teen Pageant. And then in July 1984, at 15 years old, she was crowned Miss Talented Teen International in Montego Bay, Jamaica, from among 35 state and national representatives. In 1983, Michelle was in her first television commercial. In December of 1984, she appeared with Hall Jackson on Soul Train after she won the Miss Talented Teen International pageant earlier that year. Michelle played Justine Phillips in The Cosby Show. She was Theo Huxtable's girlfriend. She inspired Theo to study and he was doing better in school. She appeared in A Man Called Hawk in 1989 and she was in Thea in 1994. If you remember that comedy Thea with Brandy. She appeared in Dream Date in 1989. She also had a role in Hanging with the Homeboys in 1991. She appeared in different music videos, including the popular Drew Hill video, Never Make a Promise. That was a very emotional, heartbreaking music video. You should watch that. Her publicist was Kidaja Bell. Khadijah Bell, the daughter of Ronald Bell of Cool and the Gang. She became a guest host of Soul Train in May 1996 and March 1997. Her most famous role is Myra Monkhouse from Family Matters. She was the girlfriend of Steve Urkel. She was so funny in that show. I loved her in that. She was a perfect fit for Steve Urkel. But the writers of the show did not want him to end up with Myra in the end. It would have been nice to see a Myra and Urkel wedding. I think that episode would have been great. That show had a lot of good cast. And I liked Laurel's facial ex expressions. Laura had some good facial expressions. Michelle played Myra from 1993 to 1998. Her friend and co-star Jaleel White, a.k.a. Steve Urkel, says Michelle helped to build confidence. She built his confidence. 
he she really helped him with that he said she saw that he had dating issues and she was determined to help him find the perfect girl for him he said after the show ended a lot of realities kicked in he said in moving on as an actress Michelle had some difficulty he said at one point she became a waitress Jaleel said Michelle had a lot of opportunities to sell her soul to the devil to climb up the ladder faster and she refused. She was not that girl. Michelle had a lot of opportunities to sell her soul to the devil to start climbing a little faster. And he she talks just wasn't about that her girl. with so much love. You can see how much he cared about Michelle. They had a great friendship. In 1997, she was diagnosed with a rare stomach cancer. It's called an intra-abdominal desmoplastic, small round cell tumor. Michelle was a healthy person. She was a vegetarian. She never smoked or drank alcohol, yet this happened to her. Michelle got a role in The Young and the Restless in 1998. She played Callie Rogers, an, an aspiring singer, and she was the love interest for Malcolm Winters, played by Shamar Moore. Michelle did surgery to remove a lemon-sized tumor shortly before she landed her role in The Young and the Restless. Her mom mentioned that they sedated her. She was supposed to be out for 20 minutes, but she would be asleep for four days instead of the 20 minutes. She had surgery again in October of 1998 after another cancerous growth had ruptured. After she was released from the hospital, Michelle flew home to New Jersey to spend Thanksgiving with her family. Unfortunately, on December 23, 1998, Michelle Thomas died in New York City at Manhattan's Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. She was only 30 years old. Her friend of many years and former boyfriend, Malcolm Jamal Warner, was among the people who were at her bedside. On December 26, 1998, her funeral service was held. She was buried in New Jersey. Her mother, Penwa, said Michelle was fearless. She did everything she had to do on this planet. Years later, her mother was still crying. She was still in tears talking about her. Michelle appeared posthumously in the film Unbowed in 1999. She played Anna. That was a good movie. She was beautiful as usual in that movie. That was her last movie. Michelle was an angel on earth. I and a lot of other people will not forget her. Rest in peace. Michelle Thomas. <laughs>